Welcome to the Oracle Boat Shop. My name is Rod and we're still working on Elfin here. So this is the next episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I constructed and built the seat risers. Uh, initially in the plans, there's just supposed to be a seat riser with a small blocks here for accommodating two forts or seats across here. But the customer would like uh, uh, a longitudinal seats along both sides so that he can shift from side to side and still be comfortable in the boat. So I needed to make uh, long risers that, that are broken up by the aft uh, frame here. So let's get to it. Begin installing the seat risers for the uh, forts or seats to rest on. I need a block either side of this frame on both sides and the uh, forward frame as well. <clears throat> I'm just going to show, so the plans show that the bottom of the seat or the top of the riser for the center section here is five and a half inches below the gunnel and in this case I am just going to measure below the very top of the gunnel here which is probably not exactly where I want it because I believe the line should be five and a half inches below the shear and we've got quite a, a rake here quite a tip on on the out wheels so we go five and a half and I mark my tape I then leveled up the boat best I could from side to side. Took my tape measure from my mark on the other side and just very quickly tried to determine what is the distance between those two. Looks to be around 50 and a half inches. I then took a piece of, I don't know what it is, 5 eighths ply here, scrap. Started at five and a half a little bit more and kept shortening it a bit until I can get the bottom of that to sit on my line and the bottom of the other side to sit on my line. And from that measurement, I can determine the angle to which the cleat needs to be cut to rest against the hull planking and be horizontal across. Now, just to be a little anal, I'm probably not going to be bang right on because this piece of plywood may not be perfectly straight. We're not quite on, but I can fix that when we actually put the seats in. I'll be a little more accurate in leveling the boat up, but that gave me a good idea. So now I need small block either side of each frame with that angle. I've I then take my bevel set to my trusty gauge here and I'm showing I go to the center here, we are at about 36 degrees for the center thwart angle, bevel on the cleats. Did the exact same for the forward thwart cleat and determined that this one is a little less. This one is 32 to 33 degrees. So it's off to the bandsaw to cut that angle. It would have been a much cleaner cut to be cutting on my table saw, but setting the blade at like 36, 40 degrees, and I don't have a very good uh, table insert. I was a zero clearance table insert, and being that it's such a small piece, I'm terribly anxious that the small piece is gonna get trapped between the fence and the blade, and I'm not gonna be able to push it out of there. So, we're gonna cut it on the band saw here. Now, if we've cut that angle correctly, by this sitting against the hull, that should sit right up there flush, which it does nicely under what will be a thwart running across. Now we can just clean this up a little bit, cut it into sections, and be ready to glue it on the sides. Now that I have my two cleats cut, one marked bow, one marked center, with the right bevels on there to attach to the hull, it's time to cut them to the right length, clean them all up, and determine exactly where they're going to go. The ends of the seats are only six inches wide. They do get a little wider, taper out towards the center of the boat. So it's six inches. I don't want the cleats hanging out over the uh, and be seen under the seat. So we'll call it five inches. The actual 
frame inside there is one inch so now we're down to four inches which is on either side is two inches so all I really need is a cleat two inches long two pieces at two inches long this is from the center so now as I put these on my marks there's a little bit of a gap between the block and the frame because the frame is perpendicularly across and the planking comes in on an angle no one will probably see it under there but I'm not sure that I'm going to really want that so I am going to hey, with my pencil is what I'm going to do so we just need to shave off just a tiny bit off of here which I'm just going to do on this disc sander On the other side, it's the opposite there. So I clean them up, the sander, both sides, and get them to fit. So as you just saw me do, I built these little uh, blocks here, riser blocks, to hold the seat in place. Uh, then I remembered that along with the uh, athwart ship uh, thwarts or seats, he also wants some longitudinal ones here. So that can be removable. So I am going to laminate into some mahogany and using the gunnel as a sort of a form to uh, clamp some in. We'll leave those overnight. My lamination in here isn't exactly fitting to the uh, shape of the hull. I'm going to need to scribe and cut bit more of a curve in here which is okay because I've got enough meat in my lamination here to make sure that I still have enough bulk for the uh, seat riser. Got my clamps ready. I've got an actual couple of blocks here. I'm going to actually put in behind the ends here to act so that we will be ending up over bending a little bit because there's going to be some spring back. Even if it's not a perfect fit, I'll be able to shape the inside profile here, which will match the hull because it's a little bit oversized.
piece cooled off, I calculated the angle required to cut the back edge here so the top edge would be level to the other side. I have my marks along here. When it springs into place, it doesn't exactly sort of come up level to my lines, but I'm not too concerned about that because there'll be a full-on bench seat here attaching to the bulkhead up front on cleat. Therefore, ready to just clean this up. Just not sure whether I want to throw it back in the steamer. I can definitely spring that into place by hand, but you know, that's a lot of stress on the glue on the back surface here. So that's what I think I might do to both sides. One of these took a better curve than the other from the steaming yesterday. This has been left to sit here for, I don't know, almost 48 hours now, so uh, we shall see whether it's held a better shape. Looks like it has. So far, so good. It's a little bit of spring back, but that's going to be much easier to uh, put into place with a little bit of pressure there to hold it in. We'll clean that up and we're ready to install all the seat risers. All right, it's time to glue these stern seat risers in. I've got my marks made using a level, laser level, forward and back, leveling the boat out, X, you know, and more and more and more. And then uh, also making some marks across the boat, so laying some sticks across the riser so that I know that it is level on both sides when we eventually put a, an actual seat in there. So what seems to be working and pulling this in is putting a block down there. And then clamping like so. So I've drawn a pretty heavy pencil line in the various spots here. I should be able to just tap there. Tap from the end to butt it up against the frame. Now that the seat risers are fully installed, it's time to move on to actually making the seats and thwarts that go across. And as always, thank you very much for joining me on this build. Hey, do consider becoming a subscriber, or at least give me a thumbs up, or even share the video with someone you know might be interested in watching. See you next time.